So, Bruce, uh, I just want to take a moment to say thank you for taking the time uh, to meet with me today. I know you're extremely busy, so uh, I really appreciate it. I also wanted to let you know that I'm going to make this short and to the point because I know your time is valuable and I don't want to waste it. So, so to save the most amount of time and cater directly to your business, do you mind if I ask you a few questions? No, that'd be fine. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um. Explain to me in one sentence, like I'm a fifth grader, um, what product or service would you like to focus on selling first? Um, the product that I would like to, the service that I would like to focus on uh, immediately right now is just helping local businesses gather better reviews on their Google business profile. Hope you don't mind. I'm going to take some notes here, so I don't no, miss yeah, anything. Absolutely. No, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. You're right. Okay, so you said uh, basically the service you want to focus on is helping local businesses gather, uh, you said reviews? Yeah, gather positive reviews to- Positive reviews. Get, yeah. Okay. On their on their Google business, on, on their local business listing, on their maps list. Okay, local business. So- would that include things like not just Google, but maybe like Facebook reviews, Yelp reviews, yes, things that absolutely. Nature? Absolutely. You're right. Absolutely. Okay. Great videos. Okay. Great. Okay. Um, what made you decide to schedule an appointment today? Um, well, I, I, I saw your ad and, and it resonated with, with me in terms of your approach. Uh, you know, how you you explained what you do in the ad. And it, it just sounded like something that, um, yeah, I, I would like to know more because it, 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 it feels like, you know, from your content, it, it feels like that's something that could really work for my business in helping me grow and scale and, and get the word out to more of my target audience. Okay, that's great. Um, what are you currently doing to get customers? Um, currently, you know, I'm doing um, primarily SEO, uh, search engine optimization, um, ranking for uh, specific keyword search terms, um, which being, you know, they're, they're, they're highly effective, but I believe I could do more uh, in terms of bringing in, you know, a higher volume of leads and customers. But that, that's primarily what I'm doing right now is, is, is SEO. Also, um, I, I do a bit of email marketing. Okay. Well. All right. Okay. Are you currently um are what well, are you currently advertising social media? Not yet. No, I I've um I have dabbled in in social media uh, over the years. Um, it hasn't been something that I have found that um, has worked well. Not, not that I think social media doesn't work, but I haven't necessarily found my particular footing, um, in particular with, with with Facebook ads. So, yeah, I, I have done done some social media, but not I'm not doing anything like that right now. Okay, so I guess what I'm hearing is that you have kind of dabbled in it and it has, you haven't really had much traction or success with it. Yeah. Yeah. And also I, I found that, um, you know, this seems to be kind of synonymous with Facebook and with social media uh, advertising in general is that the leads that I have gotten have tended to be quite low quality. Okay. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll get leads coming in and to be honest, I I get I've gotten quite a bit of spam leads as well. I I, I get okay. leads coming into my CRM, and you know I, I get mm -hmm. a notification on Facebook. You've you got a lead. You've got a lead. I end up going into the lead and and clicking on the phone number, and the phone number is not even a valid number. And I go to try to search the phone number, and they said these numbers they they don't even there's no area code like this. There's no country code. So right. I, mm -hmm. I, I get I get a lot of that. So it's been my experience has been a bit discouraging with social media okay. for, for all of those reasons. Okay. Got it. Um, 
Have you ever worked with a professional before, uh, like a uh, an expert in the, in the uh, no. with the marketing and the social media? No, okay, not, not not with paid advertising, no. Okay, or social media marketing for that matter. No, I haven't. So when you did that yourself and it was unsuccessful, how did that make you feel? I just, I mean, it, it, it it's just discouraging. Because I, you know, you, I get my hopes up. But you know, I hear a lot of, you know, hype about social media. I hear a lot of hype about Facebook ads, and I know, you know, for a fact, people that I I, I do business with, um, you know, pe- people are making a lot of money for their business mm-hmm. with, with with social media. So then, you know, I I I dabble in it. I put some money in, and and you know, it it comes to nothing. So it it doesn't feel good. It it it, it feels it, it it's discouraging to say the least. Um. How long did you did you actually try doing some advertising with social media? Um, you mean in terms of, of how long ago or, or how long? Or no, you like uh, those, you know, how, did you do it for a month? Did you try it for a couple of months? Like how how uh, how much time did you spend? Uh, you know, running ads. Oh, it, it's it's varied, varied okay. greatly um, o- over the last you know five years or so since that that I've dabbled in in Facebook ads. Um, some campaigns I've, I, I, I'll put it this way. I, I haven't let a campaign go to, you know, over $500. Okay. I, um, you know, I've, I've had campaigns go to 300, 350, $400 and, and, and probably those campaigns I, I let go longer than, than I should have. Um, you know, okay. I, I put that much money into it. Uh, nothing came from it. No, you know, not a sale, uh, spammy leads, um, on and on and on and on. So recently, um, I've been testing with much smaller budgets. And because of that bit of experience I've had in the past with my Facebook ads, mm-hmm. I'm more, um, you know, I, I opt to to run campaigns much but for a much shorter duration, once I see that, well, I'm just getting the same results. Here comes a bunch of spammy leads. You know, I run it for three Got days it. and just a bunch of spammy leads and, and, and the quality of leads is so low. No one shows up. So yeah, about, about so, 25, 30, 50 dollars now, and then I'm, I'm done. Okay. Got it. So you have a, you have a, a new strategy, I guess you could say from, from that experience. Yeah. I'm just simply because I, I you know, I mean, I, and I'm not blaming Facebook, you know, I'm, I'm not looking at Facebook as the fault. It's obviously, I understand, you know, SEO, I, I know like the, the back of my hand and I, I, I mm-hmm. do SEO, I'm, I'm, I'm blinding the great at, at, at SEO. Um, Facebook, because because SEO is a different beast altogether. It's people with a mm-hmm. problem going to search where they get the answer. They're ready to buy, sure. they're ready. Facebook is a different beast and together. It's people who they're not interested in buying. They're not there to be sold to. So the psychology of creating an ad to get in front of Facebook audiences to divert them from the, you know, cat juggling compilation that they're, you know, attached to and then get them to to focus on an ad. I understand that that takes some creativity. It takes some skill. It takes some crafting. It takes a little bit of magic. And I haven't cracked that code yet. Okay. Um, Did anything go well while you were uh, experimenting with the Facebook ads? Yeah, um, you know, I, I can't say that that the results have been, you know, all dire. Um, okay. I, I like the fact that I can see potential in in okay. Facebook ads. I, I I totally get the potential. Um, so even <clears throat> though, uh, you know, the ads that I ran would, you know, probably be considered as unsuccessful because of the lack of leads or the lack of revenue they generated um i can see the potential because of even with my with what i did do on facebook uh the data that i collected is, is mm-hmm. invaluable um based mm-hmm. on how people interacted with the ad and, and people did you know i did actually get some leads but they you know they didn't come to any fruition so yeah i, I see the potential and I, I i do i would like to to do more of that okay um all right so what are some different things that you've tried in the past to get customers? Um, well, I said, you know, primarily, uh, you know, working on, on local search, working, working on local SEO, um, email marketing. 
um, I've, I've done, you know, a lot of different things. I've, I've done um, cold calling uh, to get leads, which I was actually pretty good at, um, huh. to say the least. And, and I think it was just because I, I wasn't salesy. You know, when, when I when I get people on the phone, I'm not, not trying to, uh, you know, chew their ear off to try to sell them something before they hang up the phone. I'm actually, you know, I, I like cold calling in the sense that I just actually started a conversation. If they were willing to have a conversation, we would talk. If they weren't, then, you know, I wasn't pressuring them to do anything beyond that. Um, other things yeah. I have tried, um, yeah, cold calling, email marketing, and and primarily SEO has really been okay. it. Okay. Okay, great. Um, of all the things that you've done, what do you think was the most successful? Both email marketing and SEO have been really, really successful um, on for, 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 for different reasons. Um, doing email marketing, um, I, I didn't go down the path of just blasting anybody and everybody with you know some spammy email. I actually did research on different companies first to find out if I could you know, find issues with their current marketing or with the, you know, conversion rate on their website. So I did a lot of research prior to okay. sending them an email. Um, and the email that I put together was showing them, not necessarily selling to them, but showing them the potential of what they could be generating um, when I was, you know, when I was doing SEO and doing client work in the email. Um, so I was sending a you know fairly detailed email of these keywords they're not you know they're not stacking up for this is the potential traffic they could get and based on that potential traffic this is the potential revenue so email marketing was very successful. Okay, so what do you think have been uh, your two biggest challenges when it comes to scaling? Ah, consistent, um, consistent lead generation and consistent client acquisition. Um, even with with the efforts that I've I've put in there, I'm still finding, uh, you know, leads coming in sporadically, um, and you know, email marketing as it is, it you know, everything is a numbers game, even even paid advertising. Um, mm -hmm. But with email marketing, again, it's it's a matter of you know, sending out enough emails, um, you know, to get the numbers out there to then. Mm -hmm. uh, get the numbers to turn around to, to come back. So that I think that's you know client acquisition and, and lead generation basically basically on on a consistent and regular basis, really. Okay. So if I was gonna ask you what your annual revenue goal is, what would you tell me? Uh you know, for, for this year. Yeah, for, for this year, I mean if you know if if I could get uh you know, I'm gonna be realistic, and you know, and go go with a figure of, of you know five hundred thousand, uh, you know, for, for the year, and and you know, to to be able to generate that for my business, I, I think I I would I would like to hit that. That would be great. Okay, that's a that's uh that's a nice uh goal for this year. But tell me, really, what what's your real goal? Like, what's something that would keep you up at night? What's that figure that that you uh, dream about almost like it's a fantasy. I mean, it would just totally blow you away if you were able to achieve it, like uh, shooting for the moon. What, what's that number look like? Yeah. Ah, I mean, yeah, well, yeah. When, when you, when you, when you put it like that, yeah, there, there is a figure, um, you know, and, and, and ironically when, when, you know, breaking away from the, the, the uh, interview, the same number that you, you told me. Oh yeah, said, it, that's when, great. When you said that, it was like yeah. that. That that <laughs> that yeah. That, okay. That that, that ten that, million that, it is. That ten million dollar mark is 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 a beautiful dream to. That yeah. is uh, that's generational wealth right there. Yes, it is. That will take care of your kids. That's what I'm talking about. Absolutely. Okay. Um. Why that number? Um, well, just you know, exactly you know, for for the reasons that you you stated and 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 beyond. Um, you know, I I got a a seven year old, 
little girl. I got a, a oh, my nephew, uh, my my niece. Um, you know, I got family over in Lithuania. I got a niece. I believe she's. Oh, this is bad of me. I think she's twelve now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, she's got challenges over there with her. You know, family situation and all that kind of stuff. Um, I got a mom that's you know turning ninety in, in a couple of years. I got. Um, you know, parent-in-laws, uh, you know, my wife's parents are there over in Lithuania. Anyway, long story short, um, I would like for my entire family to be looked after and mm -hmm. to not have to worry about money. Not that I want to set them up to where they wouldn't, you know, like my daughter and my, my niece would never have to work in their lives, but to set them up in a position to where they wouldn't have to struggle so much. Mm. Uh, and, and to be able to take care of the grandparents um, in a way to, you know, where they're, they're not struggling with, with their pension and all. It, 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 mm -hmm. I got a lot of big, big, you know, reasons why that number. Big reasons. Okay. Yeah. Those are good reasons. Um, so outside of what I'm going to be showing you today, um, what's your strategy um, to get there? Uh, the strategy is, you know, I, I I don't think there really is a, a solid strategy that that I've put together that that I feel could could get me there. Um, I know the business is capable of that, um, but in terms of putting a strategy together, yeah, I I have to say I'm I'm guilty of 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 not having that in place, or even having 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 you know, put it, put, put anything in any ideas in terms, I've just kind of been churning the business over and just kind of working on getting it, just kind of getting it through every month and every year. Um, so that's mm -hmm. a, that, that's a good, that, that, that's a place that I'd like to be to have a strategy put in place that could get me to that 10 million. Okay. I'm going to uh, switch off of the slides now and um, come back to where we're uh, looking at each other here. Um, yep. Not quite sure how to get there is the question. <laughs> I'm looking at, okay. um, I guess I just, not sure how to get back to like where we're, uh, I'm, I'm actually looking at you and you're looking at me. Um, right. Is that, um, if you go up to view options, does it say, or, or you know, if, if you go back down to that, do, do you see, do you still see that green, Share screen yes. at the bottom. If you click uh -huh. that, it might say stop. Right. Let's see here. Um, pause share, maybe. You can pause share. Stop or... share. There stop we go. Share. There we go. Stop share. Okay. Sure. All right. So, um, so based on the research, what you're sharing with me so far, do you mind if I make a couple of recommendations? No, please do. Okay. Um, well, I, I suggest that you use social media advertisements and AI to scale your business. Um, do you mind if I ask you a few more questions uh, so that I know uh, what that looks like? No, no feel free. Okay. Um, so our goal is to deliver you customers. Um, I got to share the screen now. Okay. So now I'm going to come back here. And share screen. Coming back to the slides. Share. This is how you learn. Yep. <laughs> this is it. That's why, <laughs> that's why we're here. Okay. So um, what I want to show you is essentially our process is we create ads. If you look over here in this box yep. here, we create an ad, um, essentially an ad that, you know, would uh, get people's attention about your particular business. Um, as far as, uh, you know, you said that you want to help people with uh, getting positive reviews. So uh, we would create an ad that would uh, essentially highlight that. Um, and create some type of uh, something engaging and something appealing uh, that would get people to want to want to give you their information um, and opt in. Um, 
then what we're going to do is we're gonna, once they click on that ad, it's going to go to a essentially a, a web page, a um, a capture page. You, some people call it. Um, it is essentially it's like a lead page, um, which is going to have some more information about your your product and service. Um, and that's where we're going to be able to capture their data, whether it's their phone number or their email address, so that we can um, essentially use that to uh, to market to them. Um, at that point, let's see here. We're going to notify you. Uh, essentially, when those leads come in, we're going to uh, send those leads right to uh, right to your phone. Um, so the process is we're going to show the ads on Facebook. We're going to drive them to that capture page. Uh, we're going to collect their email and phone number. And then we're going to deliver that data directly to your cell phone. Does that sound good? Yeah, brilliant. Okay. Then we're going to use AI uh, and automation to follow up so that you don't have to follow up with everyone yourself because that could get pretty overwhelming. Yeah, absolutely. So... Now I want to learn uh, who you enjoy working with and who pays you the most. Right. So, so tell me, um, what's the ideal client for you? Um, well, yeah, look, looking at the, you know, some of the details here, <clears throat> you know, the, the age range of, of the, I'm, I'm dealing primarily with local business owners um, and I'm trying not to work so much with, you know, immediate startups because they they not might not necessarily have the capital and, and and everything else yet. So the age range tends to be, you know, closer to to you know 30, 30 years and on up. Probably thirty to I'd say thirty to to fifty five. Okay. Um. And do you want to focus more on males, females, yeah. or both? Uh, no, that it it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. The gender is irrelevant. Um, location okay. wise, um, I work anywhere where you know people run businesses where they speak English. Um, okay. So so location, I've 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 worked um, with clients in the U.S. Um, obviously, I'm in the U.K., so I work with clients here, um, Canada. Of course, okay. um, and I've had clients in in Australia. Uh, I've had clients in New Zealand. I've okay. been approached by clients, uh, potential clients in South Africa. I'm not sure if I'd want to advertise there, but you know they're they're running local businesses and they're they're looking for reputation management just like everyone else. Um, so that would be a consideration is is even including South Africa in there. Okay. The, the okay. Relationship um, that is. Yeah. What about that? Um, the ir irrelevant. Okay. So we'll just put NA for that. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh parental status, does that matter for you? Does it matter? That's irrelevant. Okay. How about education? That's um, that's an interesting one because different verticals, different uh, different niches. Uh, obviously, if I'm dealing with with doctors, lawyers, chiropractors, um, dentists, um, you know, they they've all got pretty high degrees. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but I also deal with uh, blue collar. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, HVAC, plumbers, um, electricians. Sure. Uh, and a lot of those guys, you know, they 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 possibly graduated high school. Um, a lot right. of them got into the trade during high school and just kind of carried on from there. So I wouldn't even think that that would necessarily be a consideration because okay. local business owners have, have educations of varying degrees. Sure. What about income? Um, now income, yeah, because it, you know I, I like working with with clients who, as anybody else does, that can actually afford the services. Uh, sure. 
so yeah it, it takes a certain level of income but now if i was going to take that a step further and say okay i know i have clients that pay me more than others and it's mm -hmm. not necessarily because i'm doing any greater or dearer of a service to the more high paying clients it's just they pay me more because they make more mm -hmm. um, and i like that and and oftentimes those clients are the better clients because they just let me get on with it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, I would I would love to to work with clients that are, you know, fifty thousand, having an income of fifty thousand plus. Okay, fifty thousand plus. Got it. Um, if you're going to take a guess, what what kind of TV shows do you think they watch? Uh, that's something you think would, would be a factor um, it can be I mean you know uh, a lot of the um, you know the, the entrepreneurs and things like that that I work with with local business I mean I, Shark Tank is one of those things that comes up <laughs> okay uh, everybody everybody that, that I, I kind of yeah that's an with. entrepreneur show for sure yeah yeah they, they love that um you know, it, it's not necessarily. I mean, you know, they they're all watching, you know, Oprah, uh, sure, things like that. Um, you know, moving on from that, you know, a lot of the the speakers or influences influences. I'm just kind of going off on tangent now, like uh, you know, mm -hmm. Tony Robbins and uh, you know, Les Brown, um, those type of motivational speakers mm -hmm. that speak, you know, speak directly. Um, but there was a guy that I used to follow that. Um, you know, one of the biggest, uh, you know, highest paid consultants, a guy named Dan Locke. Okay. I haven't heard from about Dan Locke in a while, but he he's one of the people that my audience, my target audience would would follow. Do you know how to spell his last name? Is it just L-O-C-K? Yeah, I think it's L-O-C-K, but it might be L-O-C. Okay. Well, what I'm going to show you in, in a bit here how we can kind of uh, utilize some of this information uh, so we can actually better target your demographic. Brilliant. Um, so what if do you think music would be a factor? Uh what kind of music they listen to? No. No, no I guess. Um how about events that they, they would attend? Um, again, you know, the my my audience is across the board. Um, but again, if I was gonna go for the higher end clientele, uh but even then, I mean, I've I've got dentists that go to rock concerts, and I've got you know chiropractors mm -hmm. that go to, you know, uh, you know, watch classical music and ballet. So yeah, I I don't even think it would be maybe like yeah, business business oriented events, networking events, maybe something of that nature. Yeah, that 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 actually makes sense. You know, when you when you put it that way. Um, I'm just thinking as an entrepreneur, you know, what what type of things might a business owner uh, attend. I know that I've been to some network events myself. So I, I you know, maybe that's something you know yeah, your clients yeah, and your customers. Yep, yeah. yeah, you're yeah. absolutely right. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. But yeah, networking events would be uh would be something that my target audience would okay. be involved in. Yep. Do you think it matters what where they would eat? It would matter, but I wouldn't know any specific restaurants. Um, you know, the ideal client, they, they most likely wouldn't be like McDonald's and KFC. They, mm -hmm. they'd be more high end restaurants. Um, and I like a Ruth Chris or prime. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Prime, exactly. Like that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You, you got the idea. I'm glad I'm speaking with an expert here. <laughs> oh, yeah, <like> <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> right. Right. Yep. Uh, let's see here. Okay, how about books? What what uh, what kind of books do you think that your uh, your demographic would read? I think my my target target audience would be uh, well into money management, investing, um, you know, building out you know, their, their portfolios entire, in terms of, um, 
you know, investing in, you know, property investment, buying up properties, you know, uh, investment properties. Okay. Those are good, some good ones. Who do you think they would follow? Maybe like celebrity podcasts, uh, influencers. Yeah. Like I said, um, you know, the, from what I gather, they, you know, they're, they're really into the motivational speakers um, in terms of education. So Tony Robbins, Les, Tony Robbins, Les, Les Brown, Brown. Dan Lock. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Anybody who's, uh, who's helping them understand how to do better business, particularly online. Okay. All right. Um, political party. Do uh, you think that really yeah. has any bearing? No, across the board. Okay. What about job title? Uh, well, you know, they're, they're all considering themselves, you know, the, the CEO of their business. Um, you know, they're all business owners. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you, if you, if you're niching, you know, if I was to niche down, um, you know, a, a lot of them are, uh, you know, MDs or, or something like that. I, ca I can't remember what the title of chiropractic is i don't think it's called chiropractic i think it's called i think something's osteopath or doctor of of um do is that what you're referring to possibly yeah i can't remember now and i i should okay. know that um yeah but they have ceo is there someone what's the other one i was thinking of I can't think of it right now. It's not. It's. I, I can see it in my head, but I can't. It's not coming to me in terms of verbal reality. But um, yeah, stuff like that. They're they're all heads of their 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 company. Okay, that's fine. Um. Okay. One last thing is, uh, what kind of groups do they belong to? Ooh, I actually haven't thought about that. Um. I would. I would imagine they they belong to. They they belong to their um. What's the word? Their uh, oh god, what's the word? Their their, their local chamber of commerce. Chamber of commerce. Like okay. Yeah, they, they, they'd all be you know all my top clients would would you know my ideal clients would be involved in in the chamber of commerce, understanding what's happening with you know local legislation that might affect their bottom line. Um, okay, all right, that's a good yeah. uh, it's a good place to start. Um, okay. So what I want to show you now is uh, essentially kind of like what we do. Um, so thank you for answering uh, all of my questions. So let me go ahead and, and uh, show you how I plug in this information into Facebook so we can kind of really target and, and find uh, who's most likely to buy your service. So... You are screen sharing, new share. So we're going to go over here to my ads manager. I have a, um, I guess you could call it like a demo account. Uh, my ads manager, are you seeing the uh, ads manager yeah, page? I do. I okay. see it. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. So let's see here. This over here. Got to make this all fit here. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here, account overview, all right, and then we have campaigns. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a campaign for you. So I'm just going to kind of run through this and, and just kind of show you exactly how we do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a lead page. So we want to we want to capture lead data. Uh, you know, we want to basically create a landing page that's going to uh, essentially cause your clients or your um, your leads. We're going to we want to capture the data. OK. Um, now, Facebook has like a recommended setting where it helps to kind of like um, use their AI internally to kind of like create what they think is the best uh, best settings. But what we're going to do is actually do a manual because we want to have a little bit more control over um, the information that we put into the system, kind of based off the questions I just asked you. Right. So 
Um, what, what's the name of your company? Uh, World Life Media. Okay. So we're going to call this campaign World Life Media. Now, is World Life one word or it's three? It's, it's, it's three words. Seven. Yep. Okay. Yeah, got, okay it right. got it. All right. So we're going to scroll through here. Um, we don't really need to work up, worry about special ad categories. Um, okay. Auction type. Campaign objective is leads. Um, okay. Now we're going to go here. And what we're going to do now is start working on our ads. So uh, Facebook offers an instant form where actually it will just right after you click on the, um, you know, when you've ever clicked on an ad on Facebook, when you're scrolling through and there's like a learn more or about or something of that nature. Um, a lot of times what happens is Facebook has instant forms where you can actually, uh, they'll basically, it'll be a pop-up and, and the customer or the lead can put their information in and Facebook uh, captures that data itself. Uh, what we want to do is we want to we build out a landing page for you and we want to drive those, those customers to that lead capture page. So we're going to go here and click on website for this uh, instance. Um, performance goals, maximum number of conversions. Okay. Um, then we're going to scroll down here. So if you were going to set a daily budget, um, I would recommend no less than $20 a day. Um, how much do you think you want to spend a day? Um, well, yeah, I, I believe that, you know, the way it works is, um, you know, the more money you spend, potentially the more eyeballs you can get in front of. Um, sure. what so, are you yeah, comfortable I mean, with? Yeah, let, let's uh, let's 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 go with 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 thirty thirty dollars a day. Let's try. Okay, it. all right, got it. All right, start date will be today uh, for this instance. But obviously, once we get everything set up, then we'll we'll that'll we'll initiate that start date. We don't have to really worry about an end date because we'll just turn it off whenever we uh, decide we want to turn it off. Okay. Um, all right, now audience control. So if we want to go in here and location, obviously uh, we discussed um, that you want to focus on English speaking areas. So I would assume that uh, we could just kind of put the entire U United States. Yep. Well, but before you go, you you want to you want to delete that worldwide. So click that X next to it. There so we go. Delete that. Okay. Yep, there we go. All right, and we're going to look here, United States. Okay, now I know that you also mentioned uh, Canada, Canada and South Africa. Yep. So let's see here, let's search Canada. There we go. We're going to just do the whole thing or we want yeah. to focus on any particular area. Okay. Canada. No, yeah, we do Canada and U S that's great. Okay. And here we have South Africa. So we've got uh United States, Canada, and South Africa. Okay. All right. Now this also, uh, gives you the option of advantage plus audience where Facebook is going to basically set the parameters based off of what they think is going to be best. But what we'd like to do is switch to your original audience option so that we can have a little bit more say on, on, uh, you know, exactly who we're targeting. Right. Okay. So here we go. Define improved performance. And okay. We're going to scroll down custom audiences. Okay. Let's see here. All right. So we're going to edit this. If I look back and take a look here, you said you're, you're, uh, you want to target people from 30 years old to 55. So down here. And we're going to click 30 here. 55. Okay. Yeah. You said all genders. That doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, Okay. Language. Um, well, I guess if we're talking about the U.S. and Canada, they're going to be speaking English. Um, 
we talk about South South Africa. Do they also speak English there? Yes. They do. Okay, so we don't have to worry about languages there. Yeah. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to go up to the, um, yeah, the advantage detail targeting. That, that That's when you get into all the other questions that we were. Okay. Yeah, that's when you get into the TV shows and the. the okay, the got it. Income all right. and all that so, kind of stuff. Sure. So let's take a look at, uh, we discussed maybe some TV shows like Shark Tank. Let's see what comes up. Shark Tank. There we go. There it is. Yep. Okay. No, cool. no, this is interesting. No results found, but here it is. Yeah, it's in there. That's cool. It's in there. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Let's see, let's get out of there. Okay. Um let's see what else we're gonna pop in there. Um, how about Tony Robbins? Is that am I spelling that right or is it yeah, one B? I know I always put two B's. Yeah, it's one B. Okay. Let's see. Tony Robbins author. Okay. There we go. Um, we also mentioned, let's see, Les Brown. Let's take a look at that. Okay. There we go. Speaker, Les Brown. Okay. We're doing Fantastic. pretty good. Fantastic. Yeah. We're going to try Dan Locke now. Let's see if we got it. We spelled it correctly. Okay, maybe we'll try it this way. Nope, not popping up. But I think we've got we've got you know we've got a few yeah. strong ones here. Okay. Nice. All right. Match. Now, as far as the rest of the stuff, uh events, food and all that stuff, is that also in this area here? Um, it, the thing is, is if you, if we know the specific event name, we could type it in there or we can just go to browse. Okay. Got it. And then you can, you know, ah, there we go. Yeah. The general. Uh, got it. Okay. All general. right. So we're going to go with, let's see, let's just try, let's see what comes up. events see if something come up life events okay so they don't let's just try maybe networking i, I know that we looked at that networking network it or where yeah, uh, business and finance might be yeah let's see here um really let's see here No, that's professional networking services. Business finance. Let's just go with that. Yeah. That looks good. Okay. All right. Um, okay, food. Let's see here. Let's try. There it is. Ruth Chris Steakhouse. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Really there we go. Um Okay, let's look at uh, let's look and see if we can do anything with uh, books. Let's see, we want to look at maybe investing. Okay. Yeah, investing. Investment. Business finance. Yeah. Business finance. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Um, also, we discussed. Money management. Well, that's management. Uh, you think that's uh, probably no, yeah, that's too general. It could be management of too general, yeah. yeah let's try, the, uh, the... let's try property investment. There it is, yeah, property investment club investing, possibly. Yeah. Um, 
All right, let's talk about, Ooh. okay, so we, we already got Tony Robbins, Les Brown, so we already kind of like already did who they might follow. Yeah. Um, job title, we're looking at CEO. Um, MD CEO. Yeah, there, there it is. You, you said, you said both of those. So, and then we've got Chamber of Commerce. So let's take a look at that. There it is, Chamber of Commerce. We're doing good. Yep. Oh, no, All right. No, one so, thing I gotta I gotta be sure. Um, I just noticed something. Okay. Uh, hover over the Chamber of Commerce. Ah, I knew that. That that's one of the things that I I got caught up on with Facebook. If you read the the little pop up box. Mm -hmm. um, when you say Chamber of Commerce, it says they work there or they're mm. employers. So that's probably company. not some. That's not your yeah, your yeah. Because that, that that that's something that that got me with Facebook. I think. Okay. Or, um, no yeah, problem. So, yeah, we'll yeah. Just so I, I just I just saw that one pop up with that. Yep. So kind of based off what we've already put in there, you know, that's giving you a reach of about. A little bit over three thousand to to close to nine thousand people uh, reach. You know, expecting an average of you know thirty nine to one hundred and fourteen conversions, uh, which is pretty decent, um, considering you're spending thirty dollars a day. Um, okay, so we're gonna look at more options. Um, okay, do we need that? Nope, this is not the area. Wow. No, go go down to uh, there. We go to to placements placements yeah, it's right up there yeah and then edit over on the side on the right go down hover down yeah there we go edit back here up. no back up there it is there okay go. yep it's hiding from yep. yep okay so we're gonna go to manual placements all right do i just and, just joined us as well hey wayne how are you fantastic so Bruce, what we're going to do is we're going to focus just on Facebook ads for now. Right. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we can also do Instagram as well. So we'll, we'll keep that there. Um, we're going to go ahead and unclick the rest of this stuff for now. We just want to focus on Facebook. We're going to turn these off. Yep. And just to be clear, you, you can turn off uh, all that other stuff as well like the um the feed um don't, you know, we want the feed we want uh, what we, we want, want to the turn feed off, we want to turn off the marketplace uh right here we go yeah, yeah. We want to we don't turn these guys ads. off yeah okay so we got the feed we've got uh facebook yeah. profile feed yeah that instagram facebook, feed instagram profile feed that yeah, should that, uh that business explorer turn that one off let's, yeah let's get that out of yeah. there too Okay. All right. So that just affected this a bit, 39 to 112. Um, and I believe that's all for this page. Um, okay. So then we're going to go here. And what that brings is now we create the ad name itself. Um, if Do you have a Facebook page for your business? I do. Okay, yeah. so what we would do is we would plug in your Facebook page here, okay, in your Instagram yeah. account. Okay, then we could start to create the ad. Um, so obviously we would create some uh, some um, marketing material. Uh, I would assume that you have, uh, do you have any marketing material? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've got quite a bit, actually. Okay. Right. Okay, just scrolling down to kind of catch up on my slides here. Yep. All right. All right. And just to, to go back to, again, what you had mentioned previously about doing a little bit of research on the on the prospect prior to having this, this interview is, yeah, you would go ahead and you would maybe pull something from their website or maybe something from their, mm -hmm. uh, their Facebook page or something, an image. Uh, maybe even some content and have saved that ready to paste in here as the image and as the headline and all that. So you can really go through this demo with them 
Uh, mm-hmm. to show them how, you know, again, your professionalism, your expertise, the value that you sure. by sure. done your research and showing them how much you care about their business because you've created an actual ad with them in mind for their demo. Um, so sure. yeah, I understand you you don't have that right now, but yeah, that's right. what you would be you would be do here. Yeah. You go. Um and that that multi advertiser ad recommended, you would click that, you turn that off for them as well. Okay. You see that that little box there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, turn that off. Um mm-hmm. so yeah, We're so single yeah, image here. Single image. Yeah. Um, so you would scroll down and where it says add media, this is where you'd be adding your image. So yeah, I, I'll let you take it away again from here. Whether you have right. anything to upload or not, but this is where you you'd be in the presentation. Got it. Yep. So based off of uh all the information we kind of already filled out, um, you know, the, the your ideal clients. Um, is there anything that you think that we can offer them to get them excited to talk or give give your their information? Uh yeah, with um with the, the reputation management, um I'm offering uh, a, a, to, to do work up front for free on, on a trial basis to actually deliver results before they even pay me a dime. Okay. Well, I'm sure people would be receptive to that. Yeah, it, it's um, a good opener. They 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 tend to go for it. It tends to be a no brainer for them. Really. Okay. So in the last twelve months, uh, what's been the pro- promo that you've run that's gotten you the most customers? Um, well, again, like, uh, well, on, on the website, yeah. Cause I can think, I keep thinking of, of paid ads on the website. Um, I, that, that has been the, the promo that that's gotten the most interest. Also, okay. um, one of the things that, that I've done, um, uh, is once they've, they've opted in to, you know, to have a, a, a strategy call with me, um, is that I then offer them like a, a $300, um, what's the word? How, how do I use this? It's, it's like a coupon. Um, okay. To that, I provide for them to apply towards their marketing, whether that's going to be advertising, whether that's going to be um, reputation management, whatever it is. I kind of give them a, an incentive that I will cover the first three hundred dollars of whatever whatever that is to get them to show up to the meeting. Okay. If, if that makes sense. So. Do you have any type of videos or images that uh, would be awesome to show them? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I got I got tons of, of videos where I'm talking about the the process, talking about the benefits, and and giving them the AB test. Yeah, I got tons of that stuff. Okay, um, that's excellent because like that content we can kind of utilize between uh, creating your ad and then also creating your landing page. We can use that content that you have. Um, I guess. You know, you pretty much know what's been successful that you've used in the past. I, you know, has there ever been anything that you post on social media that was a was a big hit, and you, you know, you got a lot of traction? Yeah, yeah, but I, I giggle because I, I wasn't expecting it to have that much traffic. But I, I did this, um, uh, I did this conversion analysis with uh, with SEO, and I just kind of broke down the numbers. Um, in the in, uh, in, in it was just a text ad. It wasn't even a video ad. Where I just showed people the breakdown of, you know, what it means to drive a certain amount of traffic to a web page that could potentially convert at a certain percentage, and then what that means in terms of just going down the lines of of the the conversion stack of then how many of those leads based on another conversion rate could turn into clients, okay. and and yeah, and, and people just really. It, it, yeah, people were saying, yeah, blow my mind, blow my mind. To me, it was just numbers, but that that went went over really well. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I want to share my screen again over here. And um, essentially, uh, when someone cl- clicks on the ad that we create for you, uh, they're kind of got to go to like a landing page like this, for instance. Okay. Obviously, it's going to be... Uh, highlighting your business and your services, you know, we'll use that content uh, potentially that you have, and, or we can create some content for you. Um, so again, what, what, you know, they're going to click and it's, they're going to land here. So once someone opts in and, and they uh, enter their personal information, name, phone number, email, 
combination of all three uh, or possibly just a phone number. Um, where do you want us to send those leads? Um, yeah, I would, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the face of everything. So yeah, I, I prefer those leads to come to me. Okay. So you're it. Yeah. Got it. So I guess you would be the best salesperson. I am the best salesperson. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me ask you this. Um, do we do you do you have like a uh, product or service uh, that we can give as an incentive uh, to get them to take action immediately? Um, well, like yeah, like I said, that um, that that uh, that reputation management where I I help them to generate positive reviews on their Google Business profile, um, and I offer that for free up front. Um, yeah, that 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 that's pretty hot because they they okay. actually get to see in real time, and it, it takes literally you know oftentimes in 24 hours of me plugging it in they they see you know five star reviews popping up on their google business profile i mean i, I deliver a handful of those straight away uh, they yeah they they see the value in that okay so when that le when these leads come in um are you going to be able to get to those those calls within 15 minutes um that's the the thing what we were talking about before because i i've done work you know, across the globe, um, that's when it gets difficult. Um, mm -hmm. When I start doing work, you know, across the pond and and, and South Africa and Australia, sure. well, I, I had somebody call me from New Zealand. I, I don't know what time of the morning it was. My phone was off, but I woke up and and there was somebody who tried to call me from New Zealand. So, if that's the case, then then yeah, I would I would need to to hone in on probably just starting off with the UK and business hours. Um, okay. Yeah. So then I could actually get those leads, get to those leads within 15 minutes. Okay, great. Um, are you at, are you currently using a CRM? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm using this, uh, this, this incredible piece of software called go high level by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, provide you with, uh, a CRM as well. Um, so that, um, you know, we can kind of help with, uh, you know, I guess managing all that data and, uh, you know, probably saving you some time. Um, so let's see here. So who else do you want to have access to this CRM? Uh, right now. I guess it's just, it's just you, right? Yeah, it's just me. I'm, uh, I'm a, a one-man army right now. Looking okay. to change that. So essentially, um, what I'm seeing is that you want to create an audience um, that have uh, an annual revenue goal uh, or actually your annual revenue goal is 500K. Uh, and then the, the real goal is 10 million. Um, you want to focus on local business owners, um, age range between 30 and 55, uh, it doesn't really matter whether it's male or female. Um, the location of the businesses, you want to focus on the United States, Canada, South Africa. Um, you know, you're looking at education between high school or college. Um, people that probably watch Shark Tank, Tony Robbins, Les Brown, you know, motivational type speakers, influencers. Um people that potentially attend like networking events, um, you know, higher end clientele that you would probably see at Ruth Chris or New York Prime Steakhouse. Um, and uh, people that would probably be interested in uh, investing, money management, property investment. Um, and, you know, probably focusing on the business owner, business owners themselves, you know, CEOs, MDs, things of that nature. Um, and, uh, Probably business owners that maybe would uh, be involved with their chamber of commerce. Um, is that uh, am I getting that correct? Is that uh, is that accurate? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Brilliant. Okay. So once we capture all that data, 
uh, you want me to show them your ad, and then you want me to send them um, to the page to collect their data and collect their information. And then you want me to text and email that information to you so that you yeah. have those leads. And then um, at that point, um, since you're the only salesperson, you're going to be kind of handling, uh, you know, the uh, essentially closing, closing the client, you know, obviously answering their questions and, and hopefully closing them to become a, a new client. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's it. So how soon do you need customers? Yesterday, last week. That's great. Well, here's what I got for you. So we'll work together for, for 13 months. Um, how soon do you need customers? Yeah, like I said, immediately. Okay. So to get started, there's a one-time setup fee of $5,000. And then uh, it's $2,100 a month. And half of that is allocated towards the advertising budget. and Half of that is my service fee. Um, would you like to buy right now? Let's do it. This sounds good. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm all in. You're making a great decision. And uh, I'm looking forward to working with you and helping you to scale your business using social media advertising and uh, AI technology. Um, at this point, what I'm going to do is get you set up. Um, we'll, uh, I'll send you a link here so that we can go ahead and make the transaction to purchase. And then we could uh, get started on uh, getting you some new business and scaling your business. How's that sound? Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks. Man. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time today.